Hi everyone. Hi everyone. How are you all doing? Don't be smarty. That's throwing thing, eh? It's throwing thing. And we just as we are going. Because I'm going to take this to a friend of mine. I took it yesterday to fix some things, so I want to take it back now. So, how are you all doing? How is everything? And how is this depressing and um, tired us black community with their dramas everywhere? <laughs> so, all of you must have seen every time Annie Edibia always cried out on social media on so many issues on a marriage I am still like tired at this point and time that Annie Edibia continue to live in pain <laughs> She continued to live in stress and um, unforgiving pain inside her. After all the beautiful, filtered pictures and uh, luxurious life that they portray on social media and publicly. of importance on men that don't take them serious, men that don't respect them, men that are easy to cheat, disregard them, abandon them, and leave them pregnant or with babies anytime, any moment. How so many women choose to force themselves into a relationship with the belief of the end of the happy moment of getting married or securing the ring and after securing the ring continue to live in pain and stress and everything okay and most of them will laugh at you that is a single woman or a single lady telling you that at least I'm better than you because I have a man at home I'm married what is the quality of the marriage? That is another question and another conversation we all need to look at and we all need to talk about the quality of the black marriages. Are most of the women really being treated well? I won't say fair because the world is not fair and nothing is fair in this world. I never expected expect fairness from anybody. Okay, with our government or whatever, do what you have to do and make sure you are being treated well, not fair, because nothing like fair exists anywhere. Not even in the black community. Are these women actually being treated well? Are they happy? Is their mental health really, really unstable? Are they, are they emotionally, physically, spiritually happy in the marriage? Do they really want to be in this marriage? If they have other options, can they check out of the marriage? That is the question we should be asking ourselves. Okay, That is why so many black women in the black community cannot fool me with marriages. Because I've seen a lot of them like Ani Idibia like trying to be a role model 
trying to advise you with your toxic marriages and all but when you actually look deep inside you see they are not really happy they don't want to be in that marriage but because of the hype 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 that we normally do on social media and on the black community there is that hyping of a woman that have a man at home there is that hyping of relationship that doesn't make sense so a lot of women are like tied down there or the money the relationship is toxic the they think that they are the role model and the example for other women to follow just because the man that is hurting them that man that is not a good man continue to stay with them or they continue to have a reason to make that man to stay with them or because that man don't want to disappoint a lot of people he doesn't want um, whatsoever because most of the hyping on the black community come from the music industry um, a lot of our hood father grandfather and all take long suffering bearing all nonsense many of us think that that is the role model of marriage we are supposed to follow if you are not following that and you decide to separate yourself you become the the black sheep of the community single mother single mother out in every opportunity they have all this single bed marriage woman do you actually think that if an Idibia was actually being treated well after all the cheating and the, the happy ending of okay as I was saying that saying before the line just broke okay it just came back again I'm saying that if actually after all the cheating on an Idibia baby mama dramas and all after 10 years minus the time she wasted with two face and broken up and coming back do you believe that if an idibia is being treated properly now if an idibia doesn't continue to if sorry if two face doesn't continue to cheat on her or have more babies do you think that this lady will continue to be in pain after how many years if two faces actually a changed man let me see if i can cross if two faces actually a changed man a responsible man he treats annie properly why do you think that annie still continue to to cry about the cheating she continue to tap into the cheating as a way to show herself like the like the <laughs> the painful bride or the sad bride or something why do you think that she continued to do that she continued to use that as a face of pain a face as a, as a brand a woman that was cheated on that her first her first child become the fifth child of the man why do you think that Annie continued to take that as a badge of honor for herself? Why do you think that Annie never passed that stage in that relationship? Why do you think that Annie, if there was something really beautiful about these two couple, why do you think that Annie never go past that crying of cheating and um, always be the victim of two two face why do you think that annie never passed in every interview talking about two face cheating talking about two face baby mamas and children and everything why do you think that after marriage this lady continued to to be the face of of pain and a cheated woman huh why do you think so why if she was actually being treated right after the beautiful exotic marriage in dubai 
she posted a nice pictures with Two Face all the time. She she traveled with Two Face. She did everything with Two Face. If the trust is does is not continuously broken, why is she crying now? She decided to get married to this man that cheated on on her, have different babies with different women, and 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 uh, at the end of the day married her publicly her children with her why do you continue to type into the toxic side of two-face if actually there is another face of two-face being beautiful like in the picture be nicely be good husband be good boyfriend why can't she actually tap into that side if the behavior of two face is in the past because i believe that if this man cheated on her have children with other women and everything and she still continue to go ahead and get married to two face i believe she does that because she believe or two face convinced her that he is going to change and be a good man so that is what i believe so why does she continue to tap into that pain and everything like she's still going through pain because she was like on the interview like something like this and to come in yes <laughs> as spanish normally say like she was i really see a woman that is in pain that is being um continuously pain being mentored of her with a woman that continuously um being disrespected a lot a lot a lot because last year she cried out too about what she's facing with two face and another thing why did she why did she continue to be with a man that cheated with on her that did a lot of terrible things to her and the family don't want her why did she continue to be with that type of man because with her interview and everything, she has nothing better to say about Two-Face. Why do, did she continue to be there? Why can't Annie leave? Why? <laughs> I saw a lady that was like uh, on comment session saying that uh, Annie, hold your husband tight. Eh? It's yours. You are fight for the love and everything. <laughs> <laughs> if you left <laughs> or if you leave other women will fly into it and then I comment that that is how all of you fly into relationship and men and at the end of the day you end up single or crying like Annie Idibia that wanted to show that idyllic uh, marriage and everything after enough public embarrassment and the pain maintained on her she still continue to show all these things to a man that does not reciprocate a man that does not show value to you that you are value uh, that you are valuable you are loved you are careful you respected you still continue to do one-sided marriage and that is what most black women and african women engage into the men worshiping culture the dick worshiping culture they <laughs> respecting a man that don't respect you worshiping a man that don't worship you when you are giving anything as a woman i think you should be getting something back whether it's business relationship whatsoever friendship you should be getting the same of what you give to add to people if you continue to indulge in a relationship that don't um where the other one or your significant don't reciprocate love care everything you are going to end up crying like annie idibia she spent all her youth all her time <laughs> running after two